Right now, kids are being hospitalized with COVID at the highest rate since the start of the pandemic. The sharpest rise among babies and children under the age of five. This is the group that don't yet qualify for a vaccine. Savannah Levins reports. The CDC issuing a warning about this over the weekend, saying parents should be doubling down on precautions right now. COVID cases and hospitalizations among kids are hitting record highs. The majority of kids who are in the hospital due to COVID are unvaccinated overwhelmingly. The CDC now says the biggest increase is among newborns to four-year-olds who don't yet qualify for the shots. Last week in Georgia, there were 4,290 cases confirmed among kids under five, a new record and 23% increase over the previous week, a trend Dr. Ramona Acha decor has seen firsthand. I mean, unfortunately, a majority of my patients right now are under five. Moderna echoing last week what Pfizer recently told Americans, that its vaccine trials for kids under five are being extended. The goalposts now moving back to April at the earliest. This Slate article making the rounds today, its author, one of many parents who say they're frustrated by the delay. All the parents of kids who can't be vaccinated yet are just sitting here like, great, thank you. Really looking forward to this winter of death for my child. Like, that's just awful. Kids over five are also being hospitalized at record rates. The majority of vaccine eligible kids in Georgia still haven't gotten their shots. Only 16 percent of kids aged five to nine and 35 percent of those 10 to 14 have received at least one dose. The CDC urging parents to make those appointments. It's such such a well tolerated vaccine. I mean, better than the flu shot. Saying they anticipate pediatric cases to continue rising in the coming weeks. Dr. Ramona says that mild symptoms can be treated at home using Motrin or Tylenol for comfort. She suggests using saline and suctioning for babies and cough medicine for older kids. Sure, there's not a lot of medicine available for these little ones.